I'm Kathleen McCarthy, Director of Collections and Head Curator at the Museum of Science and Industry, and we're here looking at an Enigma machine that was captured with the U505 in 1944. Part of the secrecy with the Enigma machines is the encryption rotors, which you can see here, would get changed out every single day into a different pattern. And so here you see a box of rotors that you would switch out. You'd get a code book for three months at a time, and it would match the code book of the person at the other end of the message, and you'd put the rotors in place, and then everybody was using the same um, coding system for those for that month. And so here you have a regular typewriter keyboard, which connected to uh, electronic circuits down here, and those would drive the rotors up there. Every time a letter was pressed, it would move the, the rotors. And so if I was typing a code, if I typed N, it would give it a value there. But if I typed N again, it would, might have a different value. And that was one of the reasons why the code was so challenging to break, because it wasn't like every N in the code would have the same um, corresponding letter. Every N might be a different corresponding letter. So here we have one of the German code books that were used with the Enigma machines. Now this one is printed in water-soluble ink, so if the submarine went down, it would all disappear, the code. Now here we also have a different kind of code machine, and this would have been used in an airplane. And here it's lined with lead weights, so that if a pilot needed to throw it overboard, if he was over water, it would sink. Encrypted coding is something that we're still talking about today. It's a trip back in history to see a problem that we actually are still dealing with and is very contemporary to us. Every day we, you can read in the news about worrying about um, computer security and you read about hackers and breaking codes. So this is a really an ongoing story in our daily lives today.